The Central Valley of California really is the crown jewel of dairy processing. Valley Milk is made up of five dairy families right here in the Central Valley of California. This is their first foray into a processing plant. The decision to build this processing plant is really a way of us to maintain our independence. We wanted to not only produce the milk, but also process it. Our facility is supplied 100% by our founding dairies, which guarantees our quality milk supply and in turn a quality finished product. We felt that it was a great opportunity to vertically integrate. We are manufacturing skim milk powder, non-fat dry milk, low thermophilic spore powder, destined for both domestic and global markets. The quality of this plant definitely reflects the quality of the milk that these farm families are producing and sending to that plant. 17 months ago we broke ground, today we're fully running, we're receiving milk and shipping product around the world. The milk is received from the farm into this receiving bay. That's 50,000 pounds of milk from a tanker in less than eight minutes into the facility. From the receiving bay, the milk is delivered through mixed proof valves into these three 70,000 gallon silos. From the raw milk silos, the milk is delivered to the separators. Here, the milk is separated into cream and skim milk. This is the evaporator. The skim milk is sent here from the separator where it is concentrated. The water is removed to produce 50% solids. Here at the discharge of the spray dryer, we've reached the final step in our process. The concentrated milk from the evaporator has been dried to powder. It's being sifted and then conveyed to storage before packaging. We want to have high quality milk, nutritious milk, a product that people can trust and we knew that building the type of plant we were that was state of the art that we would be providing that for the rest of the world. California is a difficult place to actually construct and build facilities because of seismic environmental conditions and with Shamba we could overcome any of those added difficulties. We have two 800 horsepower boilers. They are in 900 horsepower boiler size frames to be able to reach the 5 ppm NOx level required by the Californian regulations. The owners absolutely appreciated their willingness to bring valued engineering ideas that would save money and give options to the founders. We were looking for someone who would get it done on time and on budget and that's why we went with the uh, prime contractor uh, Shambaugh and Sons. That gave us the benefit of having all other subcontractors and vendors channeled through them. Shambaugh's done a good job of that, working with their subcontractors and vendors to make sure that the project comes off smoothly. I knew there was project management on site that really cared about this and took it as if it was their own money and their own project. That allowed me to sleep at night. When the owners first got exposed to the 3D modeling, they were in awe. They were able to see a end product before it was finished. You have the visual right there and it's three-dimensional. It just makes it so much easier to understand and appreciate. It looks just like the 3D model. We have aspects of this project that are leading in the industry. One of the innovations that we developed for this plant is the swing arm for the six inch receiving hose to aid the operators in unloading the trucks. 
by going with the six inch unloading and six inch outlets, we would be able to cut out one bay, which resulted in the savings of one complete bay and receiving system. One of the luxuries that our process gives us is the harvesting of the water from the milk. We actually reclaim water out of our evaporator from our cow's milk and we bring that water back to potable state to clean our equipment and use within the process. The plant was designed to be able to make skim milk powder and whole milk powder. So a sophisticated standardization system is employed where it is continuously monitoring the protein and lactose levels in the milk. We used a lot of cable tray for the low voltage wiring and for the pneumatic tubing and even for some of the, the power. When you look at that cable tray, you can't help but think that a craftsman installed this cable. The dryer is GEA MSD dryer multi-stage drying, capacity to produce agglomerated products. This really is the state of the art around the world. If you were to go through the plant, some of the attention to detail that you would notice, the stainless steel floor plates, the stairs that have what we call a, a waterfall effect where water can drain across all four sides of a stair tread. Stainless steel platform decks are elevated off of the structure a couple of inches so that you can clean across the top of the structure. The floors in the silo alleys are sloped away from the high traffic areas so that operators that are walking through the silo alleys are walking on a dry floor. During the engineering design, Chambar and Sun talked to the founders with respect of expansion and we have actually built a 20% increase in capacity. We have a drain available for the third separator. We've designed the racks to be able to take what's expected in future piping. We've designed the knockouts in the wall for future silos. We've laid the building out so it would accommodate a third bay. The safety record was just unbelievable. Not one lost time accident was incurred during hundreds of thousands of man hours being worked. This plant was built through the wettest winter in a hundred years in California. Shambaugh's Fab Shop was very key and critical to us delivering our project on time and not have to fight the inclement weather of California. Prefabrication allowed us an extraordinary amount of quality control. Everything that we could possibly prefabricate in our workshop in Fort Wayne, we did. Saving time on site, saving cost to the customer. We shipped the prefabrication out on our own trucks. We knew if they said it was going to be here on Friday, it was going to be here on Friday. The unsung heroes of this project are the Shambar drivers. Shamba has delivered it ahead of schedule, on budget, and exceeded expectations of all. When I first saw the plant, I was in awe. Everything seemed to be done so, so well. I had to pinch myself to see that I wasn't in a dream. What we love as much as we love milking cows is the lifestyle that it provides for our family. By building the processing plant, we're actually building the future. Not only for the future of our community and our fellow dairymen, but for our families, for our kids and our grandkids. That's a very exciting part of it.